Good morning, it's Jasmine, the project coordinator for the Making Work Work For All project. So I wanted to start off today with giving a brief outline of the project. I know a lot of you already know what it is because you're already on the project, um, but just for anybody new that may be watching this. So the project is designed to benefit the lives of working families living in social housing or private rented properties. So one of you has to be working, uh, you may both be working, but one person in the house should be working. Um, working with the families last year, it was decided that what would benefit their lives is a out of school activities project and also a loyalty card discount project for local businesses. So now it's all about making that happen. Unfortunately, due to what's going on in the world right now, some of the events did get cancelled um, and we don't know when we can resume them. But we want to keep in contact with you um, and any new families that want to come on board, we want to welcome you on board. Um, I am going to be staying in touch on daily, um, my phone's on, my emails are open for anybody that wants support during this time. I want to get, I want to take this time to get your ideas and to make the project yours. So there will be events um, when we resume back to normality, whatever normal may be. Um, but during this time I thought it would be good to do videos to keep in touch with you um, and help you. You may be busy right now either homeschooling or entertaining your children, I understand that, um, but it is important that we make the project what you want it to be. Yes we've decided on the projects but it's still important that we keep your ideas flowing. Um, we have got I think around 13 businesses involved on the loyalty card scheme so far which is really positive um, and I know that talking to the families last year it was decided that they wanted sort of local businesses and this is good because it can help the businesses with their advertising and it can also help the working families so it's fantastic. So if you're a business listening and want to get involved then I'll put my contact details at the end of this video. Please get in touch with me to find out more information and if you're a working family and want to refer anybody on to the project or know of any businesses then also get in touch with me. We did have a meeting on the 7th of March with those of you that wanted to volunteer for the project. We've got a few event support assistants now and um, we've got we've still got some roles available like administration assistant and um, we've still got a sales officer position available um, We've got oh, a booking booking the events, so if you know of any places that will let us hold events or or even booking the people onto events, we've got things like that available as well, um, assisting with leaflet drops. Remember guys, this doesn't mean you're giving up every day. It is on an ad hoc basis um, and it's important that the families do get involved because that way we can make the project yours. I thought I would do videos um, once a week for now, maybe we can increase that if you find they are helping you. Um, I've decided uh, on a few ideas but we that, that can change because I want it to be what you want. Um, so I thought we could do um, how to stay positive during this time, um, tips on health and well-being, um, cooking on a budget, uh, creating a vision board so it's quite arts and crafty for the children to get involved. Um, I could also do online training such as um, budgeting for children and teaching them about money but any ideas that you could suggest um, please let me know and I will get cracking with them. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that's kept in touch so far. It is important that we all keep in touch um, and that we continue to do so. so Keep safe and keep positive and there will be a new video next week. But remember, I'm on the other end of the phone or the other end of the computer, so email me or call me about anything.